What is going on everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. As y'all can see we are on some Texas Chainsaw Massacre again because this is the only game I've been playing. But um, I got y'all some family gameplay man. I actually got a lot of gameplay recorded for y'all so these next few videos are going to be family gameplay. But I got y'all some family gameplay and we're going to get right into it. Y'all are gonna see how I play and um pretty much my strategies depending on what map I played obviously. And at this game this game I'm gonna be using Sissy so I can't use my um my trap strategy with hit uh hitchhiker. <laughs> I was about to say hitchhiker. But yeah, um next game play the next game I get into I'll be playing hitchhiker. But for this one, we got Sissy. We got the, um, I got my blood harvesting build with Sissy. So, that's what I'm going to be using. And, um, y'all make sure you hit that like button for your boy real quick. And make sure you got them post notifications turned on after you subscribe. Or if you already subscribed, you know, make sure to turn on the post notifications. So you can be notified every time I upload. But yeah, that's gonna be hopefully this gonna be a little chill game. Um I'm gonna show y'all my little route that I go. And I think I got I think I got one leather face video recorded for y'all too. Alright, let's go to get this blood. Alright, bet. See we already got a lot. And um Cook, I know Cook. I don't know how, but cook, it might be a perk. I think it's a perk, but cook, I've seen um, some cook builds where he actually gets a lot more, like he damn near gets 50 blood per, um, per, um, whatever, right? Like every time he collect blood, he gets like almost 50 per blood bucket he collects. And these blood bucket builds are really essential because there's times where like, like, okay, so I had a game that I didn't record, right? Okay, he's over there. I had a game that I, did, that I didn't record where Bubba killed, like, two people in the basement before they got a, a chance, <laughs> before they even had a chance to wake up Grandpa. And, like, by the time they did wake him up, you know, it's only, like, two people, so they're gonna be hard to find because we're looking for, like, two people. So, um... Yeah, the game almost lasted like damn near 20 minutes because we couldn't find him and Grandpa wasn't like leveled up because nobody had, um, nobody had any blood bucket builds, I'm assuming. Alright, now they was, oh, got him. Oh, <laughs> got him. They thought I didn't see him. Uh, come here. Where you at? Yep, got you, come here. Oh. Oh, bro, um, I be losing that every time. I lose that every time, bro. And Connie, you here too? Oh yeah. No. <laughs> I knew, I should have known. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, Johnny. Oh yeah, get him up out of here. I'm gonna try to cut him off. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, where's she going? If he runs this way, it's over with. Oh, yeah, come here. Uh, come here. Oh, my gosh, bro. I'm not going to be in a... Well, maybe. See, that's the thing with uh Sissy. Oh, yeah, easy. Oh, yeah, get him up out of here. Let me be toxic. Let me... uh <laughs> Blow my little poison right there. Um. Oh, yeah. I was going to say... That's the only downside with her blood harvesting build is that um you don't get to use any speed, any speed buff builds, and so I'm like essentially real slow. But this is pretty much my route. I usually just run away. I mean, run around in a circle like this. I start from over there where Grandpa is. I'll check those two gates, and I'll run across over here. If it's daytime, you don't have to run all the way over there. You can just take a little peek and see if anybody's at the gate. But at night time, you definitely gotta run all the way across. Let me go ahead and feed him real quick. But I, I usually, I usually cover this area the most when I'm a hitchhiker because. 
because I, um, I place the traps by the gates and I don't have to guard so heavily. I could just, um, I could like walk up to the middle, the middle area. Oh, somebody's over here. I could just walk to the middle area and then I use my, uh, my up on the deep pad. I use my ability to see if my trap is broken or not. And then if it has been broken, then, um, how you let him leave, bro? If it has been broken, then I'll come reset it or look for the person. Bro, how you let him escape? Is he not using the one hit build? I swear, if, uh oh. Oh, yeah, she up. She out. Oh, oh my god. He turned it on at the last second. <laughs> Wait, get up. Bro, he turned it on. Oh my god. <laughs> Bro, what is happening? Hold on, let me get her. Bro, what the hell just happened? Bro, I'm so happy this this dude didn't uh I'm so happy he didn't stop turning the thing. He turned it on at the last second. I thought she was up out of here. Okay, he got it. Is she the last person? Let me tee back a little bit. Yeah, take that. Now we got one person left. Well, he can't come this way, because if he come this way, he ain't making it out. Damn, I swear she had like two... If she would have been here like two seconds earlier, she would have got up out of here. Shut that. But yeah, so far, to be honest... Lately, I've been I've been liking um, family member more than victim, honestly. But that's as of lately, and that's because I've learned the maps a lot easier. I've learned how to patrol the maps a lot easier with uh, it's um family. Oh yeah, what you doing? I'm glad you didn't jump down that well because you just you would have just made the game last even longer. She don't know that uh. I guess she don't know that this gate has already been turned off. I mean, turned on. I was about to say turned off. Yeah, you're cooked. Hold up, hold up. I gotta get my stamina. Come here. Damn it. Uh, I mean, she's, she's most likely gonna die out anyways. Because usually when you're the last person, you get hit like that, that you should just end up passing out. <laughs> hey, that should be funny as hell. I've had multiple games where the last person would literally just keep trying to run around the map and you would see their aura, you'd see them just pass out and then they'd get back up and then just die out again and just die completely. See, shout out to my, um, shout out to my blood harvesting build, I done got him to level 5. Yeah, she thinks she's safe, you're not safe, buddy. You're not safe. Where you at? She thinks she's safe. She's not safe at all. I guess we get I guess we just gotta wait till grandpa uh Let me see. And grandpa uses his ability again because nobody knows where she's at. Look at <laughs> Look how she just passes out. Is she gonna get up? Can I finish her off? Oh uh, nope. Yeah, take all that. <laughs> Bro, I love when they just when they just try to run and they just fucking bleed out. I don't know. I, I just love it. It's just it's it's just so satisfying. Alright. We in our we in our hitchhiker game. Let's see if uh let's see where they put the generator. Oh they put it right here. Alright, that's fine. So usually I'ma show y'all how I play. When I play like this, nobody leaves. The only way they can leave is if they uh do the fuse box to leave basement. Or they do the um pressure valve I think that's how you call it but most people don't know how to do that anyways I only get like out of like 10 games I may get like one team that'll do um a fuse boss escape oh my god <laughs> oh my god he already got him up out of here okay well damn that was quick I'm sure he's using the, uh, I'm sure he's using that one hit bubble build because ain't 
ain't no way he's not using it. And I put one right here. That's my setup every time. That's, I swear to God, that's literally all you need. Put one at the generator. I mean, put one right there. That's all you need. Oh my God. Nah, Bubba is down there going crazy. The crazy thing is, I find it really crazy that nobody actually wants to play him. I swear, like if you play this, if you play this game a lot, then you know. Like, for some reason, people, I guess, because they like, they can't get a kill in basement. <laughs> because half the time they get stuck down there. I don't get stuck down there. I go look for somebody. As soon as Grandpa gets woken up, I open up them doors, I lock it back, and I come straight upstairs every time. Let's get this blood. Now, see, I'm not going to get that much because I don't. Like, my build ain't for blood. My build is for the traps. With him. And honestly, since Grandpa is awoke, I'm not even supposed to be in the house right now. But I feel like he, I feel like he got um, basement on lockdown right now. So since he got basement on lockdown, I'ma just go ahead and uh, feed Grandpa as much as I can. But shoot, at this rate, no way he killed him. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> crazy my man's done killed everybody in basement but basically what i do is i put my trap at the back gate one at the generator and then i basically just i run this way i just run back and forth and i just watch the side of the house that's basically all i do because think about it you run back here you could just look over this fence right here and see if somebody's trying to escape see how i can see her i could just see if somebody's on the fence if not, I run straight back to the generator, and that's basically what I do. Yeah, it might be boring, but hey, I, I, I play for the win, you know. I play to get the win. That's what everybody else is for. Everybody else is supposed to watch the house. Another face, you know. He controls the basement, <clears throat> and he controls the inside of the house. And that's what a jacker has traps for. He's supposed to um, watch the outside. Okay, is he? I would say there's no way he's down here. Like, why Why is he running to the street as if he's out here? He's probably just going to end up dying out. Possibly. I don't have a blood harvesting build, so I can't just get Grandpa to level 5 in a couple minutes. So... I guess we just gotta wait to find this dude. I'll still feed him though to help give value, but I'm not gonna be to fill him up quick. But I will watch around that. Oh, I thought I just saw him. Or is he back there? I'm come over here and see. He, damn. Um, shit. As far as we know, dude probably still in basement. <laughs> I've had games where it'd be like like we'd been in a game for like 10 minutes and people still in basement. And I remember like even when the game first dropped, bro. Oh my god. Literally people could not like literally people would spend the entire game in basement not figuring out how to get out at all. It seems like just yesterday. All right, let's feed grandpa. I don't know what's about to happen. I don't know if this dude gonna actually have a chance to escape or not. Because if there's still since since Bubba killed everybody early, there's still hella um health bottles around the map. So he could potentially stop himself from dying if he play it right. But if not, then I guess that's GG's on. Huh? Yeah. It might be GG's. Damn, where's this dude at? <laughs> he has to still be in the house because it's no way. It's no way he's made it out yet. Even though that, even though as sad as it sounds, he should have already made it out. But I don't think he's made it out at all. At all. Yep, door's locked, buddy. <laughs> door is locked. See, 
See, I felt like one of them would have uh, kept the door unlocked. I always go behind them and make sure they locked the door. Oh, yeah, you're cooked. Yep, that's GT's. That is GT's, my boy. Even though much didn't happen, I hope y'all still enjoyed that.